What is up, Free Tribe? It's your girl Nadja here, and I am back with another video. And today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me video. See me apply my wig. And today we do have another sponsor, and this is actually Unice Hair or Unice Hair. A lot of people pronounce it either way. I've seen a whole bunch of YouTubers work with them, but I've never worked with them before, so I'm really interested to see all the hype. Some goodies they put in the box. I got another braided headband, y'all. I guess I should start a collection of braided headbands. <laughs> I did get a wig cap in my skin tone, so that's cool. Okay, so let's see this wig. It does have a little bit of like a factory smell. Not gonna lie to y'all, she's most likely gonna have to get washed. But ooh, this is pretty. This is so pretty. And it is an ear to ear frontal. The knots have, been, have not been bleached and the lace is like kind of tinted brown, but the front is pre-plugged. And the parting space goes really, really deep. Like these curls, these aren't even curls, these are like waves, but this is so pretty. She's very long, I forget how long she is. She might even be 26 inches, maybe 24. This hair looks gorgeous and she's very soft. I'm excited to put her on. I had to wear something a little, you know, angelic or whatever, cause I remember this is gonna be like a wave. I, I mean, so far, so good, first impressions. Okay, I see why all the girls are ranting and raving about Uni's hair, because I've always wanted to try a wig from them and I finally got the chance to work with them. If you guys want any more information on this wig, everything will be in the description box below. And yeah, I'm just gonna do like a chit chat with you guys and put her on and get her ready to be worn, okay? So everything is in the description, okay? I don't even know where to start. Usually my get ready with me's are like happy and funny and like all that, but your girl is going through it right now. I had to refill my mousse water. Girl is going through it right now, like depression sucks. My rule of thumb is whenever I feel like this, I always try to make myself look the best on the outside because I'm not feeling great on the inside. Yeah, that's just my hack at life. But what do I do when I'm feeling like this? Fuck it, this dress is just gonna be looking crazy for a second. But yeah, like this video probably isn't gonna be all chipper and stuff. I'm probably just gonna be venting the whole time. And yeah, I just haven't been feeling so hot for the past two days. And I, I feel like I'm like not allowed to talk about like when I'm not feeling my best because I feel like it comes off as being ungrateful. And I'm far from ungrateful. I'm very grateful for the things that I have in life and where I am in life. And I, like all of these good things are happening for me right now, but I can't help it. Like I cannot help it. Like my brain is wired, stupid shit. And I just haven't been feeling so hot. I hide it from the people I care about because I don't want to be seen as ungrateful. Like, cause I know the people that are closest to me are going to be like, girl, like, what are you, what, like, what can you even be sad about? Like, you don't have the right to be sad about anything because of your material possessions and stupid crap. I don't know. I might just be assuming because I literally do not put myself out there emotionally, so. Like, even now, like, I can't even talk about it in front of this camera. Like, I literally felt like I was about to throw up earlier. Like, just feeling so anxious over nothing. Like, I don't know what I got going on right now, guys. But hopefully as this video progresses, I will get a little bit more upbeat as I start feeling, like as I'm putting on my mask, I'll start getting a little bit more upbeat. Still don't know what foundation to match is me. Still don't, but I do want to put on foundation so I can feel like that bitch just for a minute. But yeah, I don't know. I've just been feeling pretty crappy and like I don't have anybody to vent to, but at the same time, I don't feel comfortable enough venting on the freaking internet. Like, well, about like my real like feelings and stuff. Like I don't like doing that. Like I'm not the type of bitch to cry on camera. That's, I'm just not that girl. Girl, I be feeling crazy. And I know that like I can't talk to people mainly because like I don't feel like I'm close enough with anybody to do that. Like I have friends, but I purposely don't have close friends. And if you've seen any of my videos in the past of like what my old friendships have been like, I have trust issues when it comes to friends because I've been stabbed in the back by people that I've told very intimate things of, of my life to. Like, so I'm like, why would I set myself up for that again? So I purposely don't let people in 
for real for real that's why like when people think that they know everything about me just from watching like my youtube videos i'm like go off sis if that's what makes you think you know me go off but that's just an accomplishment by me that just lets me know like you still don't know me like if you think you know me just from watching my youtube videos you don't know me and that just makes me feel more safe like i don't even know i feel like amelia fart right now <laughs> Where it's just like, you know, you're used to, like you make people laugh. Like I love making people laugh. I love being somebody's like relief, if that makes any sense. Like from a long day, like I like being that for you guys. So, oh my God, I broke my, oh, fuck me, of course. I like being that relief for you guys. So I always have to put on my, I gotta keep my clown makeup on girl. Because I know people come to my channel so that they don't have to be reminded of what's going on in their life. Cause I get DMs like that all the time where people are like, dude, I was having such a shitty day or like I'm in such a shitty spot and I watched your video and it makes me feel better. That's why I feel bad. Cause I'm like, people are supposed to come here to feel better, but I don't feel better. I'm about to put her on. I did the um, spray method. I'm lazy. Y'all know this about me by now. Okay, so this wig cap is very big head friendly. There is tons of room. Oh my God, I feel like a princess. See, it's beginning. Naja is starting to get out of her feelings. It's beginning. Yes. Oh my God, I feel like Rapunzel. Like, yes, she is giving me life. I just need to lay her down, but I just wanted to try her on, but wow. Does she have a part? Somewhere in here. I think I'm gonna do a middle part. Ooh, did y'all see that? Hold on. Yes. This is gonna be so pretty. Sorry that like the front is a little ashy. It's because of the spray. I'm gonna fix it though, but look at that part. It's so natural looking. I th I'm starting to feel better already. Like, girl, I needed this. I really did. These curls are so pretty. I've never gotten a wig like this before. I get the hype now. I get the hype behind Yumi's hair because I could just feel like this is about to single-handedly make my day better. <laughs> like, oh my God. I'm about to put it all to the front so you guys can see like. Sorry, I keep adjusting my dress, but guys, I feel like I should be like on a magazine or something with all this hair. This is so pretty. Yeah, it's not just coming back little by little. It looks so natural looking. I didn't do anything to this, guys. Like, this is just how it looks. I'm just gonna cut these right now. Where's my, oh. Ow, I just stubbed my freaking toe. I fell down the stairs last night, guys. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, life is kicking my butt. Like, it's kicking my butt. I have to go to court tomorrow. Well, I don't have to go to court. I'm going with Daniel to court tomorrow. Hopefully, when this goes up, we'll be getting some good news. Because I could really go for some good news. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure this must be like such a depressing get ready with me. Like, I am the worst. Like, I'm really the worst. This might be my court hair, girl. Come up in there looking like young Rapunzel. Like, yes, your honor. I've arrived. Let me stop. I'm ridiculous. But yeah, guys, I've just been going through some stuff and I don't really have anybody to talk to. And like a part of me is like, oh, well, Naja, you have 120,000 people and there's a big chance that at least one of them is going to feel the same way that you're feeling right now. But I just don't feel comfortable putting myself out there like that because I don't know makes me feel kind of vulnerable especially because it's like this is something that i don't even feel comfortable talking about with like my family and like my significant other and i don't want them to feel like if i did do a youtube video talking about how i felt i wouldn't want them to feel like i couldn't come to them because i can come to them it's just i don't want to I don't know, maybe it's just my ego, but like I just don't want to come off like weak or like I'm being over dramatic. And I know I can't come to any of my friends about it because I told you guys I don't have any close friends. Like I just have friends. I mean, I have regular friends. I have friends that, well, I have one friend that I have history with, but I, we wouldn't consider each other best friends. And I don't know, I just wouldn't feel comfortable 
so I suffer in silence. I laugh now, but I'm dying inside, like, low key. <laughs> I know that these things are phases for me, like, in my life, like, this happens to me all the time. Like, I've been rapid cycling for, like, three days now. And it gets really bad, like, when it starts to get, like, the autumn season and stuff with, like, my mental health. I just keep reminding myself, like, girl, it's okay, like, tomorrow, you're gonna be happy. And if it's not tomorrow, it's gonna be the next day. And if it's not the next day, shoot, it might be Friday. And if it's not this week, it might be next week. Like, I just always try to tell myself like it's temporary and to not think so like irrationally, but it's hard to sometimes like when you're always in your own head. Like sometimes I think like I'm being so annoying and I'm probably not, but like I genuinely feel like I'm annoying people by telling them my problems. So I just keep it bottled up. But the irony of it is, is that I like to hear other problems, other people's problems and I like to help them out. I got like a little alfalfa. <laughs> I'm just conflicted, I'm just conflicted. I'm a conflicted person, apparently. But it's okay, I'll get over it. I'll be back to my usual self. I just didn't have it in me to like get on camera and pretend like everything's okay. I just really couldn't. I couldn't sit up here. Cause T, real T, the majority of the time I'm doing these get ready with me, I'm fucking up my eyebrows so decent. Majority of the time when I'm doing these get ready with me is I'm manic as shit. That's why I'm always dropping stuff. I'm always like in a good mood. I need to get off camera to do my eyebrows because look at this. Oh my freaking God, I'm about to spaz. <sighs> okay, I will be back when this wig is laid, all right? So we can get to styling and stuff. I did my makeup. I feel better now after doing my makeup. I'm not the best at makeup, but I feel better now. And this has been chilling on my head for a hot minute. Ooh. <laughs> Baby hairs need to be brushed. I feel like a princess. This is how I should feel every day. Period poop. I'm in love with this wig. Y'all can't even really see for real. The vision. Y'all can't see the vision yet because Things are still looking a little crazy, like I got some hairs stuck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these baby hairs and I'm gonna be right back so you guys can see the full vision. Okay, so I'm shook. Guys. I get the hype. I have never had a wig that looked look like so much like a scalp, like, I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself in the mirror like, girl, this just made my day. I'm a bad bitch. I am a bad bitch depression. You cannot kill me. Look how like, like, girl, I, I did not do anything. Like literally all I did was do the spray, cut the baby hairs to fit my head, did my little sideburn action. I didn't do anything else. Like straight out the box, we already got realistic plucked, pre-plucked, if these knots came bleached, this would be like a complete effortless wig because I barely did anything. I am feeling myself, bitch. You can't tell me nothing. I'll put it all to the front. I feel like a princess. Bitch. <laughs> I am loving this. I could lay this part down a little bit more, but for filming, this is so cute. Okay, now I'm in a good mood again, because now I'm cute. You can't tell me nothing. I'm cute. If any of you guys want this wig, all the information will be in the description below. Again, this is Eunice or Eunice hair. I really want to say it's Eunice hair. She is giving, like I understand why all the YouTubers are always gassing this hair up. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was expecting this to be like an overhyped thing and that I really wasn't gonna like it, but I love it. Like I think I look so cute, this is so natural looking and with so minimal effort, like she, she's giving me everything that I need right now, okay? I really needed this. Shout out to Eunice for making me feel like a baddie in my time of need. 
so yeah that's pretty much it guys i will see you guys next time thanks for sticking it out with me even though this wasn't all high energy like i usually am like i really appreciate those of you that stayed until the end of the video and um yeah i'll see you guys next time bye